Let us, beloved, praise and worship our Father with song, dance, giving him thanksgiving. Our God is abundantly good, gracious and overflowing with love and peace. We can glorify him in song, in dance, praising and worshipping him. In Psalms 149 verse 3, in context, we read, Let them praise his name with dancing, praise him with tambourine and dance. In 2 Samuel 6 verses 14 to 22, David dances before the Lord with all his might, all in all combining worship and and dance is a beautiful way to glorify God, expressing our hearts, joy and gratitude to Him. Good day, good day. This is Regina Basson from the Healing One Ministry, because He's the one that heals Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour indeed. Taking it up from Come Away my Beloved by Francis J. Roberts Return unto me, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. In Romans 12 verse 2 Return to me, for I have sought after you, but you have continued on in pursuit of your own ways. I have called to you, but you have disregarded me. I have placed obstacles in your path, hoping that you would stop and consider and ask of me, but you have obstinately and determinately forged on ahead. Have you learned no wisdom? Have past lessons fled your mind? Are my dealings with you forgotten? O oh, stubborn and rebellious child, has my love no longer the power to melt your heart? Have my words that you once so treasured become of no value to you? Put down your anxieties and trust me for everything. You need nothing but what I am fully able to supply, with no effort on your part. I do not ask all my children to live in so complete a degree of trust, but I require it of you, because you cannot please me with anything less. You are weary, and you should be strong. You are encumbered, and I would have you free. You are hindered by undue concerns when you should be abounding in joy come back into my perfect will and finish the task i have assigned you anything else is sin what may be legitimate for another is not so for you come close to me and i will minister to you and revive your spirit so shall you go on even though the climb is steeper than before. One day at a time. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. In Matthew 6 verse 34. O oh, my child, have you not known the way of the Lord, and can you not trust him now? Nothing shall befall you but that which comes from his hand. No one shall sit upon you to hurt you, for your God has built around you a wall of fire. Do you hear that, beloved? No one shall sit upon you to hurt you, for your God has built around you a wall of fire. Be content with what each day brings, rejoicing in your God, for surely he shall deliver you. He is the one who has brought you here.
His way is discernible to the eye of faith. His heart is surely your strong tower. In his affection you have security. In his love are your hope and your peace. Do not question and do not doubt. Each day holds small joys that shall escape you if you are preoccupied with tomorrow. Nothing daunts your father. Nothing can restore the past and nothing can bind the future. But today you may live in the full blessing of the father's smile. Hold to his words, for they are like a nail driven into solid wood. All else may seem shifting and transitory, but his word is firm. It is a rock that shall not be moved. It is a firm place to stand. Do not walk in the path of human reason and resist the pressures that would project you into conjectures about the future. Live one day at a time, simply striving to bring joy to your father's heart is enough to keep you occupied, for you know that he loves you, and you will find your peace as you rest in him. In closing, we read in Psalm 149, verses 2 to 4. Let Israel rejoice in their Maker. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their King. Let them praise His name with dance. Let them sing praises to Him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in His people. He will beautify the humble with salvation. So let us Beloved, praise and worship our Father Abba, Hashim, Elohim Adonai, El Shaddai, in song and dance, in spirit and in truth, which he takes pleasure in. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Spirit of truth, you are welcome in this place. We ask that you will minister to each one listening. Abba Father, we glorify your name and we thank you for today. Tomorrow is promised to no man. We are but a vapor. Abba Father, we just re-surrender everything to you, laying all the burdens and concerns, anxieties, situations, circumstances, consequences at your feet. And before that, you have your way. We pray all these things into the perfect will of the Father. May your will be done on earth earth as it is in the third heaven. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. A friend indeed. Closer than a brother. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. You do your working within us. In the precious and holy righteous name of Yeshua the Christ. So shall it be, so be it. It is done, it is finished. Now on earth as it is in the third heaven. Amen.